Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at a game called Burden, an early access, post-apocalyptic survival game. I, I'm getting kind of self-conscious about saying the words survival game so many times in recent videos, but this looks like it could be really terrible or kind of cool. I'm really not sure what my expectations are going in, but let's just get in here and I'll try to go over what I know. Sure, let's play the tutorial. Well, this menu screen, or loading screen, tells you one of the important things. We have a well and everybody else doesn't. We want to build a base around this well. A useful thing from the old world which helps to navigate and look for booze and adventures on your ass. Alright, we're off to a great start here. Um... So we've got this, like, busted ass walkie-talkie thing. Unexpectedly, but you can still fight with a torch. Some good translation. Oh, stay cool. I'm just another voice in your head. Take a diary and click I to open. Oh man, I gotta take a wicked diary. Click, click I to open. Uh, um, handbook? Okay, so this is always a sign that the game has been translated from Russian. Because it will say fractions instead of factions. I don't know why that seems to always incorrectly translate in the same way. But yes, that is a pretty good indicator right there. The storm is your major enemy. Water is the gold of the desert and it's stored only on the base. Sleeping anywhere is almost as sleeping around. What? <laughs> People will come after your well. Yeah, so the idea is you have a well, you need to build a base around that well, you need to defend that well, but you also need to travel out into the horrible desert. You can't get rid of senile diseases. Diseases. Also, the description in the store is pretty good for being like, what? It's like, experience the RPG from the other way around. You pick diseases instead of skills. Clothes, compass, a radio will help you find adventures. The truth is, you can run out of stamina. Resources are needed for everything because it's a survival game. You can disassemble things too. Um, alright. This tutorial is burning away, because I guess I did the thing it wanted me to do. I feel like I had to turn the graphics on this storm stuff down a little bit. Let's just set it to high. Because these particle effects are... Not very optimized. Jesus. Is there enough shit in this chest? Is this my base? Am I still doing this tutorial? Okay. Foundation is wood and rope. Yeah, so I think I can just use whatever's in this chest. Foundations, walls, support. I'm not sure why a che uh, chest is support, unless it just means support, like, extra stuff that does stuff. Awning wall. Wooden wall with door. Is there just a regular wall? I guess these are the regular walls. They're not very sturdy. <laughs> Hopefully nobody comes through my canvas walls. 
I don't have enough wood for that. Awning roof. Dorax head. So there are mutants in this, and I would like to see some of those. Trap. Dangerous trap. Why would I want to make a trap if it's not dangerous? Can make a hay mat. Barrel leaven. I mean, it looks like a still or something. Beacon. Crafting table. Upon fire. Mortar. Spindle. Tanning machine. So yeah, I think I've made everything I can make without more wood. I think this is a beacon. Which hopefully should let me find my way home. And here's the well. So it says this thing can find adventures. I mean, I do have this, like, compass watch, so I don't know if I should just follow this. Yeah, I can see my beacon from here. I can't... I can't tell where this needle is pointing. It seems like it's pointing where I'm standing, because it keeps rotating when I turn, but... I don't see anything here. Some scrub. Looks like aloe. It took me five minutes to pick these pieces of aloe. We need it to plant, though. Sprain? How did I sprain myself? I'm just standing here. Apparently this aloe is also pretty heavy. Yeah, I mean, I... Oh, there's some men over there. I don't have a weapon except a torch, so I don't know that I want to go over there. I really don't know what this thing does. Sometimes the light blinks. I thought it would, like, make a noise or something. Well, I mean, I'm not really hard up for aloe at the moment. I kind of need, like, a tree or something. Yeah, this thing is kind of useless as far as I can tell. It's not helping me find adventures at all. I wonder if those dudes are going to go after my well... I hate this compass so much. I, I I can't tell what it does. Is it just telling me that it's north? Because that would make sense for a compass. It's just confusing that... Well, I guess maybe that's what it does, but... What does this radio do? I'm trying to, like, press all the keys to see if I have to tune it or something. Oh look, a corpse. Where did this come from? Was this here the whole time? Mana from heaven. And now I am carrying too much. I have a couple of pieces of plants in my pocket and a gun, and apparently that's too much to carry. Maybe it's because I don't have a backpack. First backpack. 
requires... Well, looks like I have the materials for it. There. Now I'm carrying slightly less. I guess I can just eat this. The main argument in the dispute. Um, let's see. Cudgel. Could craft that. Bone club. Dirty bandages. Clean bandages, which requires alcohol. Bone lockpick. I feel like that's not something you could really make and have it be at all effective. Arrows, arrows. A lot of arrows, but I'm not seeing a bow. I don't think a rope is not a substitute for nails. Alright, I guess I'll make a bone club. It's probably more effective than a torch as a weapon. Um, uh, my meters are looking alright. Oh, no, wait. So the top, I guess, is sleep. The right is, like, energy. The left is health. Then there's hunger and thirst. And my thirst is going down, so let's... Take some water. There. I've eaten some water and now I'm feeling better. Okay, there's my bone club. There's my gun. You can only build on your base. Okay, so I can't just like leave a series of beacons to lead me home. So I'm not really sure why I would make more than one beacon. Still hoping this radio will do something. Anything at all to indicate that it's doing something. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep running and hope I find anything of value. I mean, this is supposed to be one of those sparse apocalypses, sort of like Mad Max or The Road, where there isn't really much, so even the most little things are valuable. Okay. I see a source of wood. Kind of bothers me that I'm got so little carry capacity still. Alright, we got some cacti. And I think that's a sign over there. Gross cactus. But it's... It's moist. Well, there's some stuff over here. Hang on, this looks like one of those... I can't even remember what it was called, but one of the things I could build. KLF Diner. Is this all that remains of the diner? I guess I saw a car. Sure, let me just follow his whistling.
Why would these guys just be constantly whistling? She comes at me like a classic Prince of Persia enemy, very slowly. Stone sword. Nasty stuff. Combat shorts and woolen shawl. I mean, apparently we're not wearing anything right now. <whistles> Whistling is so loud. Also, I just fucking gunned them down and they're like, uh, we lost one of ours. Let's go back to whistling and walking. <whistles> My energy meter was getting very low. Well, it seems like I can be out in the desert here for a long time. I don't know where these guys went. They, they've got some real distance on me. I think I hear their footsteps. Or that's my footsteps. Oh boy, that's fall damage. Yeah, that took a big chunk of my health. A hundred and fifty nine minutes to loot rock. I don't even need rock, I need wood. I assume there's wood out here somewhere. Um, like there's grass, which becomes straw. Don't think I need that either. Wood is kind of my main obstacle right now. Understandably, I'm probably not going to find a lot of it in the desert. Like some little bits of trash out here. Another sign. Another sign. <laughs> Big is this desert. This map does not help me. It just tells me that there's a desert. Oh, found something. I feel like I need to bust out my torch. It's getting very purple. Loot anything in this car? Nope, just for show. I'm sure there's mutants out here somewhere. There's screenshots of them. Including a giant scorpion. But fuck if I know where. And I mean, I don't really want to go back to base empty-handed. Okay, you got, kinda gotta eat a lot of those. Can these bandages heal me? Yes, but pretty minimally. I have a sprained leg. It won't let me, like, select this, so I can't... It just says sprain, okay. I can't actually do anything with it. 
I guess I'm doing all right. God, what a useless map. My sleep meter doesn't seem to be going down at all. I mean, as much as I dig the kind of barren aesthetic that they want to go for, I feel like maybe this is too barren. But maybe that's just because I don't know what this goddamn radio does. I thought if I just run in a direction long enough, I would find something. Also, I'm pretty sure if I sprint for too long past my limit, I will gain some sort of a lung condition. And just be a desert wanderer surviving off of eating cacti. I'm not sure what the point of these... These are just structures I can build, but, like, damaged. I guess they're supposed to indicate that there were other people out here at some point that have all died off. Oh my god, trees. The thing that I need is here. Oh no, the dreaded whistling. Also, that... That's taking up most of my bag again. Ooh. The mold fills you up, and it heals you, but it also <laughs> makes you thirsty. 175 minutes. So, I think the problem is, I found these trees, but... I don't have the space to carry back more wood. I mean, I got nine wood, so that's decent. And I wouldn't mind going back and then coming back here if it wasn't for the fact that I don't know where here is. Ow. Verdthorn. There's like a big tin can here. Oh, there's some stuff over here, some structures. These look like water tanks. However, none of this stuff seems to be worth checking out. I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen with these people coming after my well? Like, they can't steal the well. I like how, when you kill one of them, the other ones just scuttle out of existence. Stone sledgehammer. That sounds heavy. Quarters? What? Early access, folks. I think those are shoes. Oops, I didn't mean to drop that. That seems better than what I have. Jezzeried sectarian sleeveless shirt. I think whatever I dropped is gone now. Oh, no. That might be it there. There we go. Now I have everything except a shirt. I don't think this one had a weapon. Quick hands glove. Hiking boots. Traveler's scarf. 
tendons, bones, and water. Why is everything so heavy? Now, I wonder if I can disassemble this stuff. No, I can't disassemble clothes. In fact, I don't seem to be able to disassemble anything. or tendons. Alright, well I got my wood, so I guess I'll try to head back to base, assuming I'm actually going the right way. Oh, what are these fellas? It looks like dinner. They make weird noises. Well, they don't seem hostile. Or they're stuck, or something. They're decently creepy. Especially because there's two of them, like, fused together. Psychic? I'm pretty sure they just exploded my head. You did. Well, that was a mistake on my part. And now we're back here at the the endless desert. So I think that's a good time to stop with burden. Which, in some ways, might be accurately describing playing this game. It might also describe the inventory system, where everything you pick up is apparently a burden. But, yeah, there's something cool in here. It's just a little too far... few and far between. I mean, as a setting, this is probably the reason that a lot of games don't use the sparse apocalypse sort of setting is because it works a lot better as, like, a book or even a movie than it does as a game where, by necessity, the setting kind of requires you to go long periods without finding anything of use. So, it might be cool to see some of the stuff in this game, but it just would take so long to find it. And this is early access, so there's room to improve, but absolutely zero guarantee that improving will actually occur. Anyhow, I've been Shadefire, this is Burden, it's early access, it's on Steam, it's probably too expensive for what it is right now, but there's something in here. I'm just not sure if that something is worthwhile yet. Until next time, take care everyone.